Today, we talk about standing out in a fit-in kind of world. We see if 60 seconds is enough to learn about someone for the first time. And the amazing Lucy Holmes Bailey, breakfast radio host on Melbourne's 89.9 Light FM, joins us live at the desk. That and the day's hot topics, this is Rock the Goss. Hello and welcome Can I to... Can I stop you? Can I have a go? Hi, and welcome to What the Goss. We are live at our Trish G store warehouse. You sound so much better at that. (laughs) You legend. I think she's got a little bit of practice. I've done it a while. Well, you know what? We just want to say hi to the beautiful Lucy Holmes Bailey. Hello, thank you for having me. Uh, Thank you for coming all the way from the Promised Land, the eastern suburbs of of Melbourne. Um, But Lucy, we listen to you like every single mm. morning on the breakfast show. Yes. 89.9 Light FM. Yes. The positive alternative. Yes. Very positive. You sounded so good. You could You could work on radio. Yeah. Oh, hi, you're hired. <laughs> Done. Done. <laughs> well, yeah, well, we love listening to you. We um, do. So, how many listeners has 89.9 Light FM? Have at the moment. At the like moment, listening to you every yep. single every day. Morning. Well, um, a monthly listenership is there's one people, uh, one million, one people. There's one person, and it's my mum. <laughs> no, there's one million people. We have one million listeners in Melbourne now, which makes us the largest uh, community station in Australia and the largest Christian station. Oh, in wait, Australia. that's so a lot. A no, million's a lot. No, a lot wh- well, do you wait, get- wait, wait, wait. What about what the goss? We get about ten viewers, and it's probably me and Mum just refreshing it the whole time. Hey, I watched it too, so I'm one of you. Oh I'm my god! And then Uncle go. Frank and Auntie Rita, <laughs> like and all, all the cousins. So <laughs> that's a lot. Do you get yes. nervous? No, I don't. I mean, because like, I've done it for ten years. Next year's my tenth year. And it started a lot smaller. I think when I started, we had about 300,000 listeners and it's grown to a million in 10 years. That is but a lot of people. You just, you just, you know what, I, you, it doesn't bother me because this is what I think. People either love you or they hate you. So you've just got to be yourself. And if a million people get it, that's great. Well, we love you. Oh, you're very so kind. We, Thank we you. Really Tell love us you. about 100% Kylie. Yep. So... How did that start? Yes. So I'm also a Kylie Minogue impersonator and I've done that for... 16 years now Such a, I started when I was four obviously yeah, absolutely. Uh, but <laughs> I've done that for a long time that shows 100% Kylie it's toured the world for 16 years it's a big stage show it's got the most amazing dancers some of the best dancers in Australia phenomenal costumes amazing band it's like going to see Kylie in concert but it's um, a big tribute show based and on they her. do say that you are the best Kylie show in the world yeah well Kylie said that I'm, actually which was I'm, bizarre she tweeted it out Kylie's been following our show for just the old Kylie yeah just the, just the little know. Kylie but <laughs> she's followed us on Twitter for a long time and we've had we've wow. chatted on the phone which is very surreal but she called our show the best show in the world and so her and Danny have both wow. promoted the show for us whenever we tour they'll both tweet about it or Instagram about it and say go see this show this is our favorite show so the Minogue girls have been lovely I heard you on you went to youth alive one year oh, it was like years ago, years ago. Yes. I was like two yeah. I was begging mum. I was like, Mum, can I go to Youth Alive? And you were there. And I was like, I love this lady. She now was I like feel wearing... very old. No, well, you were like four. Yeah, there so you go. I was two, you were that's four. Right. So you were crawling around on stage, but you were great. Perfect, perfect. Oh, that's um, good. So let's just go back to 89.9 yes. Light FM. Because okay? yep. I'm just sitting here thinking, okay, so that's very early in the morning. It is. So what time are you up and what time are you ready, set, go? I'm yep. um, up at about 4.30 every morning and like to be out the door by about five but i'm like yet i'm not your typical radio host because a lot of radio hosts just get up and just roll out of bed or just roll into a studio but for me to be switched on and feel good and be ready i've got to get up i've got to do the hair i've got to do the makeup oh, awesome. i have an outfit i'm always in stilettos my everyone on my station <laughs>, laughs at me because i walk in like i'm ready to do a shoot because i just it, it, it's what makes me feel awake at five o'clock yeah, otherwise wow. if i went in no. in pajamas i would sound like i was in pajamas i love that yeah. so, so i have come straight from work today so this is i just no I you can't oh, you shoot. look no, stunning from work. Can, we, can we have a little Don't look at to to her like oh. she looks hot i actually said to her <laughs> oh when i walked God. out of the warehouse like do they really let you out like that <laughs> security please somebody but I love I love dressing up. You know what it's like. Yeah. It's, there's nothing. It makes you feel good about yourself. So. It actually does. Like we often say, yeah. like clothing's not the answer, but if you don't look after you, who else will? That's right. Yes. You know, so, so it's true. nice just to look after yourself and just feel good about yourself. And it just adds that extra confidence. It does indeed. I guess yep. that. It does indeed. Um, 
I guess that you actually talk about and, and express while you're speaking on radio. That's too. right. Yeah. yeah. And and this day and age, everything's on social media too. So every time people are coming in for interviews, you never 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 know who's going to be there. So always you should always have prepared. some lippy on. That's no, right. Totally. Okay. So we want to get to know you yep. a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So what we thought we'd do is we're going to ask you a well, few you questions. Oh, I but am. you know what I forgot? I forgot our countdown, 60 seconds. Yep. So Pete, our amazing cameraman. All right, so we're going to ask the beautiful Lucy some questions um, in 60 seconds. Okay. okay, you've no, you've got to answer them in 60 seconds. Yep, sure. You've got 60 seconds. Done. Well, we need okay. to know everything. And okay. this is impromptu. We Thanks. have not ran the questions through to her no, yet. I'm nervous. So she has no idea. We um, don't have six hours to get to know. We have 60 okay, seconds. 60 seconds. That's good. This I can talk fast. 60 seconds. This Are you it. ready? I'm ready. Okay. Hey, Pete, is the Timer on. Official timer. The timer on. Okay, viewers, are you ready to get to know the beautiful Lucy Holmes Bailey? Ready, set, go. I am happiest when I'm playing with my three-year-old daughter, Shiloh. Gorgeous. Oh. Favourite holiday destination? Oh, Thailand, Koh Samui. Oh, I love Thailand. Yeah. We yes. love Bali. Yeah, yeah. we do. Okay, okay. Oh, I'll go back to my childhood for what? For my mum's roasts. Because oh. now I'm a vegan, so I can't eat them anyway. Oh, she's a vegan. We need that sound. Oh, vegan, vegan alert. alert. Vegan alert. <laughs> Describe your perfect fam family day. Oh, it would just be a really long sleep in, and my daughter slept in too because she's a toddler. And we get up, and 23 it's a seconds. beautiful big cooked breakfast, and then down at the park and, a, and sunshine. Can I come? That's amazing. You come, you're What's your worst habit? Oh, my worst habit oh, is self doubt. And one more question, hurry. Ten Last nine seconds. You cried in. Oh, Moana. Oh. Marijuana? Ma Moana. <laughs> the Disney movie. <laughs> Moana is the most beautiful <laughs> movie on the face of the planet because it's all about female empowerment and being a woman and chasing your dreams. Is that a kid's movie? It is a kid's That's movie. It's a Disney movie. But the music oh, is so amazing. Meaningful. They are. Oh, it's amazing. I, I sob every time because she has to find out who she truly is to do all this so stuff. So does your daughter love it or do you love it more than I her? have made my daughter love it. <laughs> I've like, sit down and watch this. It's about being a strong woman. <laughs> Tell us about Shiloh. Oh, she's, so she's three. She's, she's three. Beautiful. She is really tall. She's a pocket rocket. I was a shy child. And a lot of people go, no, you weren't, but I was. But she is like, like when you go into her kinder and you walk in and watch her, she's like the Pied Piper leading around 30 other children and she's always got hats on and necklaces and dresses and she's very funny. She's a comedian and she's very kind and she's extraordinarily creative. So, so how do you think, wow. like, how do you think, like if you're saying you're really, really quiet, so obviously I was this... quiet when okay. I was a kid and then when I hit my early 20s, I just didn't stop talking. But I thought I'd have a child that was quiet and then turn into a chatterbox, but she's just, I guess because she's around me and all I do is talk, so she's a chatterbox but she's well, amazing awesome. i must she's say well i must mm -hmm. say though because i haven't seen lucy probably for about 10 years personally yes That's and catching up with you again i must say that i just think you're absolutely stunning oh, such you. a beautiful confident woman oh. you know so if you were to just give a little bit of advice mm -hmm. to some of the listeners now about your confidence about who you are and what you do today yeah I what would that be i think um everything is a choice i think in life and i'm i'm really I'm really gung-ho about choosing your happiness and choosing whether to be a victim or choosing to listen to voices in your head that are negative or choosing to fight them. And, and sometimes as a woman, I think it's really easy to sit there and go, oh, I don't look like that or I'm not that or she's got that. But where does that get you at the end of the day? I think at the end of the day, you are completely responsible yeah. for everything. You're responsible for your attitudes. You're responsible how you deal with people, how you talk to people, how you handle situations. You can sit there and go, oh, this has happened to me, this is terrible. Or you can go, I'm not going to let that hold me back. I'm going to be really proud of who I am. And that took me 30 odd years to get to that point now. And I mean, I'm a woman, so I've struggled with anxiety and all those kind of things and body image and depression. But as I get more older, I get more comfortable and go, you know what, all that matters at the end of the day is that I'm here and I'm happy and I'm healthy. I've got a great family and the rest is all just white noise. Yeah, so, I love that. And I so love Love that because you know like life does dish out a lot of disappointments right. a lot of struggles mm -hmm. um, you know a lot of obstacles and they can either break you or make you right. and I'm just yeah. so grateful that they've made you yeah 
into the beautiful woman that you are today. Oh. So go Lucy. And I love that you say it's a choice. Mm -hmm. You know, you can choose whether to have a good life or totally. you can choose for, yeah. you know. So. And, you know, tough things happen to people. They really do. Like, tough things happen to you. I struggled with infertility for many years and thought I would never be able to have children. Um, and that can, wow. I mean, that can really hurt you as the soul of a woman. But I decided to let that make me into a better person and by the grace of God, I ended up having a child. Wow. But you've got to, you know, even in those dark moments, you've got to see what can I pull out of this that's going to teach, be a teachable moment yeah. or how can I grow out of this wow. and be better after a terrible event. And and you've got to get good friends around you, you've got to have good teaching, but you've got to remain positive. Yeah. You know? yeah. Surround yourself wow. with great people. Love it. Surround yourself with great people. You're welcome. Yeah. You can hang out with us all the time. I love it. No, I love it. Um, and just in a world where everyone's trying to fit in, mm -hmm. what would be your key advice to stand out and be yourself? You know what? I think the best thing you can do is love without question just love people meet them where they're at even if they're completely different to you I think I know that sounds so it's unbelievably cliche and I I don't want it to but at the moment in Australia especially it's just so divided and everyone's just at each other and it's it's I mean sometimes I don't want to go on social media because everyone's just pulling each other apart and I think at the end of the day I mean it's just all about love and loving people where they're at not where you want them to be at. Yeah. And just loving with that, wanting anything in return, but going, you know what? I'm just gonna open up, I'm just gonna love people. And I think that's one of the best things yeah. you can do. Because if you love people, then that just that it shines on you. Love that. You. That's just brilliant because there is a lot of pressure on social media, magazines, TV about how we should act, how mm -hmm. we should look. And I think that once you kind of know who you are as a person yeah. as well and get around, like you said earlier, positive, encouraging yeah, people, then I just think that, you know, that's just the best part of yeah. life, you know, like to live at that address, you yeah, know. That's right. So yeah, I love that. It's good. Thank you, Lucy. You're welcome. <laughs> I could chat all the time. Now we're done. Now. Now we're done. God, what else can we say? Oh now we're done because Lucy is on a tight schedule. Yeah, so she's a very busy we lady. We so appreciate her coming in. Lucy, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I've you have to come to more often, this. though. I can't know. be every 10 years. I know. Like, let's, let's but not I don't do want to see you when. What's in 10 years? Let's not talk no, no, about no. our ages. No, we're going to have some playtime now. We're going to play dress up. Well, we're going to do what we do best. Yes, I love that. Yeah. I always go like that. Well, and then my keeps talking, so then I just clap. And just, I'm sorry. I was going to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I was going to say. Let it all out. Let them I'm know. Just, let them know. I'm just hurting. No, don't hurt. <laughs> make a choice. Don't Should I, do you make want to counsel you through this? <laughs> make a, see what's make going a good on. choice. Be um, or conquer it. Well, if you want to follow us to stay up to date, check out at Trish G Store on Instagram and Facebook. Check out Lucy Holmes Bailey on her Instagram. Instagram and Facebook have a little store. I'm sure she'll accept. She's a yes. Or yep. she's got a like button if you like I it. I love stories. Um, but for now, have the best week and we'll see you soon. Love you. See you. Bye. 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 Was that enough? <laughs> that <laughs> did we did we say goodbye and thank you to Lucy for yes. coming? Yeah, we yeah, said that. Did. Oh, we did. Don't worry, we'll we'll extend it. Yeah, on Pete, the editing. Do you that think? was fabulous. That was fun. <laughs>